it outright because they're going to be I think I don't think it, it's short to say that Genting has had a really bad run of luck recently. Yeah? I mean, you look at the news straight after, you know, it, it's like the dominoes just keep falling. First was like the budget where they are, of course, they're the only, you know, casino operator in the country, right? So you got taxed on your gaming, you got taxed on your machines, you got taxed on everything. And then came all the lawsuits, right, from the mouse house and win as well. What, what, what was the first lawsuit? It was Fox, wasn't it? Oh, Fox. Uh, for, for the, the Disney, th uh, the, the Fox World uh, theme park. Yeah. That's the first lawsuit followed by the Win uh, yeah. Resort in Las Vegas. Yeah, because Fox was supposed to be that big um, theme park that everybody wanted to oh, like, yeah, go yeah. in. It's the world's first. Yeah, it was yeah. supposed to be the world's first. <laughs> and then, what, the House of Mouse pulled it out, right? Because oh, they're uh, going to be Fox's uh, parents uh, eventually. So. All this bad luck, uh, is that why when you wrote that Japan might be their saviour, is it going to be the one that turned around? I think, uh, yes, I think all the negative development uh, on the company that you mentioned earlier is already well uh, reported, well covered yeah. la, by yeah. the analysts and other you know, news. So I think one thing that people didn't really talk about it at this point in time is Japan. Okay. Of course, it's still a long way off, la, I mean the liberalisation of uh, Japan casino yes, market. Correct. But it, perhaps it's a glimmer of hope that you know people can. It, it's something that is worth uh, looking at it mm, because mm. basically uh, the worst is very much over already. That's what, that's what uh, I, I mean. That's what the most analysts are saying now. But Japan perhaps is something that we can talk about okay. it now because uh, it's not going to happen overnight. They still need to go through like a lot of uh, regulation uh, approval, law bill passed, and all these things. But uh, one thing that people highlight is that um, you don't actually need to wait until like Genting got the license, then only the share price will run out. When you are bidding for it during the bidding process, usually if you look at what happened in Singapore, like last time uh, when Las Vegas, when Sands, the whole Sentosa uh, and everything, and yeah, Genting Singapore, you know, it will, it will build up. You know, the share price will go up along the way. Yeah, uh, it will. So it will. it's something that uh, we can look at it. Yeah. For now, la, even For though now. it's a very, very long term, yeah, because, long yeah. because Japan itself is still struggling, right, with whether to issue licenses, mm -hmm. not issue licenses. So, and then not only that, everybody in the whole world who runs a gaming company wants to go into Japan. Mm -hmm. Is it is the market worth that much? I think if I if I'm not mistaken, they say at least uh, six billion to thirty billion yeah. US dollar. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's very big, and uh, it's definitely bigger than Singapore. And uh, it's one of the few remaining big casino, you know, untapped, untapped casino. markets, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. advanced yeah. economies and all. Uh, yeah. So that will be a very interesting thing for for, mm -hmm. for them to go through. I right? mean, if you look at it today, mm. we have seven uh, seven uh, casino giants who are eyeing at this market, right? Four of them are from US, three from Asia. So I personally think, uh, of course, when, when I talk to people, most of them say it's, it's going to be a tough fight, but I personally think they have a good chance because uh, from Japan's perspective, I don't think uh, they will give all three licenses to Americans. American. Yeah, no, so very unlikely. Yeah, at least one or maybe two to the Asian, and I think Genting stands a good chance because uh, um, among the three Asian companies, right, Genting, Melco, and uh, Galaxy, I think their size is about that. You know, ten to twenty billion uh, US dollar market cap. So it, uh, it's, 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 it's it's interesting to see lah. But I think at least one Asian will get. <laughs> yeah, I, I think so too. I honestly don't think they'll give everything to yeah, the Americans. Yeah. It, it's just not the way that mm. they will do things, right? Mm. I mean, the, the Japanese. Mm. But aside from that, actually, the management of Gunting is something that's also worth taking a look at because there has been a lot of talk about how the siblings don't like each other. There have been suits, there have been counter suits. I mean, that can't be good for business anyway, right? When you have like this kind of fractured focus. But the way that big, their big boss now does things is very different from how his father did, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, if you look at uh, Tanshi Lim Kok Tae's, uh, the way he expanded and built his uh, business, right, inherited by the late father, uh, Tanshi Lim Gotong. Uh, Tanshi Lim, uh, Lim Gotong is like earn and build. So every, you know, you have, to, you have to earn money and then you invest more, right? But nowadays it's different, right? If you look at uh, how Genting uh, under uh, Tanshi Lim Kok Tae's, uh, 
uh, leadership, right? The way they expand the business and venture into overseas, they really, really invest millions or even billions uh, before they earn a penny. Right? Mm. There's a part in the story where you actually do mention that he was talking to one of his associates mm-hmm. and he said that yeah. I must buy, I must go I global. Mean, right. Yeah, I must go global. So why do you think? I mean, based on all the, the evidence, why this drive, I suppose, to like, go overseas, mm. to I make think, the name known? Mm. Perhaps uh, Tanshi Gotong's uh, business model is, uh, is an old business model, it's a classic business model, you know. But uh, I think times has changed, to be fair, to Tanshi Nyo uh, You have to invest nowadays, you have to, you know, to attract crowd, right? You have to invest. Um, the cruise business uh, is like one cruise, I, I was told that one cruise, you need to, to build one cruise, right? Yeah. You need to invest at least 1.5 billion uh, euro, which is equal to 1.8 uh, US dollar billion yeah. US dollar. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at uh, Tanjuri Nino Cocktails, over the past five years, he has invested 5 billion US dollar to expand his uh, casino business in Bahamas, the US, and the Philippines. And f- for perspective, right? Of course, the 5 billion is uh, invested by the public listed company, but for perspective, Tanjuri Nino Cocktail. Uh, six richest men in the country, his net worth is only what, six, 4.5 billion? But we're talking about 5 Billions. billion. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, but is the yeah. worst really over for Gunting? Uh, I personally think so. I mean, what, seriously, what, what else can happen, right?